Hey, what's going on fellow collectors? Welcome back to the channel. This is Marvel Ranger. Hope y'all have been doing well and staying safe and healthy. Uh, so today I've got an unboxing for y'all. This is going to be an unboxing of the figure Baron Benz and the Aquaticons. And this is from the Rumble Society line from Mesco Toys. And this package came in today. Um, it started shipping like two days ago. So it got here pretty quickly. Um, I did get a size medium shirt in case anybody is curious. I think they started with started shipping with uh, the small size shirts and then from there I guess to medium and so forth. But no one knows for sure, but that's what it seems like from uh, from my observation from uh, Facebook. But uh, anyways, so this is the package here. Um, once I opened the package, or the box it came with this sticker it came with this really cool pin here as you can see it says um i got it the wrong way it says order of let me actually just take it out let's see, let's see. order of the holy divers baron benz and yeah, that's a really cool looking pen as you can see, pin as you can see. Does have the anchor. Very cool. On the back it says Rumble Society. And it also came with this gold mesit. Not sure if this comes with every uh Baron Benz figure, but I don't know, maybe I just got lucky or I'm not I'm not for sure. Um and then it came with this mini comic book. Which is pretty cool. Let me get that to focus. Flip a couple pages. This one's got some cool art. Got some other creatures here. It's like a deformed warthog. It's like a shark like fish there. And then we got Baron Benz. Looks like he's came out of this like meteor. Uh, yeah, from the looks of, of it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, coincidentally, he lands in the ocean. <laughs> and there's all the aquaticons. These uh, piranha-like fishes. I think they're called angler fishes. Or they're um, based on those. Looks like they got some advertisement here. I know they're selling these like bag of skulls now. Life size Agent Gomez, $25 each. What? Okay, that's probably not real. <laughs> Even though right here it says shit is real. This ain't no bogus advertisement. Life size Agent Gomez. Okay, I've not seen that. Okay, we'll, we'll see if that's real. <laughs> Maybe they haven't shown it yet, but it will come. But for $25? Life size? Okay, interesting. All right. Uh, maybe it'll be 12 scale, but I consider it life size. I don't know. But anyways, here, let's read the story here. Baron Benz and the Aquaticons. The last remaining Aqua Knight of the Order of the Holy Divers, beings that warred over the cosmic realm many a millennia ago. He currently travels the cosmos in between his stays on foreign worlds where he can find sanctum in the briny tides, adding to his collection of treasures and relics for reasons unknown. A deep dive into the arsenal of Aqua Knight. Looks like he's got this Omniglave. I won't read all this. I'm pretty sure y'all want to hurry up and get to the figure, so... Looks like the armor is called the Tangorian, Tangoronian armor. Okay, interesting, cool. You guys can pause that in case you guys want to read that. There we go. And it looks like the bag coming soon. Interesting. The satchel featuring Doc Nocturnal. Okay, so it's gonna be a new character. Awesome. Here's some other characters too. The satchel. He looks very plain. But who knows what kind of armor he has or what kind of suit. 
We have Ancient Evil. That is really cool. I'm so stoked for all these new additions from the uh, Rumble Society line. But here is the packaging. Looks absolutely stunning. I mean, it's got this gold foil in the middle. The nice logo of the Rumble Society. There's a the side. Looks like it says Rumble Society there. Very sleek and it's got a, like a glossy look. I like that. Just the back. It's the other side. It says Busy Baron. No, it says Rumble Society as well. And on the top, it's got this gold foil like material on the bottom as well. And let's go and open it up. I'm stoked. Been waiting all day to open this. All right. So it looks like it comes with this nice little art piece here of Baron Benz. All right, I don't want to rip it, so let me do this gently. Okay. So, okay, can I take out the other side looks like I can't okay let me take that out yeah I don't want to rip anything okay I can take it out nice makes it a bit more comfortable all right there it is very attractive packaging look at that and this is, there's a piece of magnet here that clicks onto that piece there. I am wearing the Mesco decoder, decoder ring that actually came with the, um, uh, the Gomez with the uh, golden head. But I actually sold that piece. I just wasn't too attracted to it. But I like wearing the ring for some reason. Do any of y'all wear it too when you're messing with figures? I've been doing it almost every day. Like after I get off work and I'm playing with figs, I just put on the ring. And it's like, it's like fig time. All right, there it goes. Let's open it up. Oh, baby. Let's take out all this. Take out the silica gel. Here he is. Let's go and take him out of the package. There he is. Let's actually, uh, we'll take a, a really quick peek at all the accessories. So he comes with the elongated head here. Oh, nice. So here's all the accessories. Looks like it comes with the Aquaticon or angler fish right there. I think there's some more behind it somewhere. It's like an anchor like, I guess, weapon that comes with a chain on it. It's an interchangeable head. We'll actually get to that interchangeable head a little bit later and put it on them. Uh, looks like it comes with four interchangeable hands. Uh, looks like two gripping ones and then two just open-handed ones and it comes with this awesome looking weapon I don't even know what you would call it like a try no it's not a trident anyways uh, let me actually open this up and then I'll get back to you all right so it looks like it's come comes with three more aquatic cons so there's four in total and it comes with this um, it's like a bubble, a huge bubble-like uh, effect piece, which is pretty cool. Set that aside for now. And then here we have, looks like we got some, some wires there that you could probably, I believe you could hook up the Aquaticons to with that effect piece. And it comes with this beautiful looking stand. Really nice art. I really like this picture. Kudos to whoever drew that. Of course, it comes with this little baggie and the stand. All right, let's set that aside and let's 
Put barren bends over here. All right. Oh, yes, he's he does have butterfly joints on the shoulders. Okay, that's really good to good to feel. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I like this armor a lot too. It's got a bit of shading there on it, as you can see. Kind of looks like it's slightly weathered. As you can see, yeah. What do y'all think? And I wonder if you could take this out. Looks like you can. We'll mess with it here a little bit. Get a better angle for y'all. All right. Here it is. Oh man, got so much stuff on my table right now. Looks like that you could hook up something here. We'll get to that here in a little bit. By the way, this is not like an official review or anything. I mean, I guess I'm kind of reviewing it, but it's nothing too official if that makes any sense. Oh man, I love the butterfly joints. That just makes a huge difference. They should put that on every figure. I don't understand why they don't, but maybe they have a good reason why. So it looks like, of course it has double jointed knees. It better. <laughs> oh, it can go far back a good bit. The arms, okay. Because of these, I guess we'll call them pauldrons, or this armor. It does kind of hinder it from going up, from the arm going up too much, as you can see. Uh, you can probably mess with it. I guess you can kind of turn it and go up a bit more, as you can see. Mm. I really like this fabric that they used. It doesn't seem like it would um, have uh, leave like a permanent wrinkle. Or a crease, I guess. Yeah. His pants are a bit baggy, which I actually like. So you don't have to worry about any stretching issues or anything like that with the fabric. Oh man! Comes with a whole bunch of these little holes. I guess you could put a whole bunch of these wires, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out later. Um, let's, let's actually, all right, one sec, I'm going to actually change some of the hands here and then we'll put the weapon on one of his hands. All right, be right back. All right, so here is Baron Benz with his weapons. So this is called the Glaive. Um, I should have known, uh, it's basically like what Corvus Glaive rocks or wields. Um, as a weapon, um, but this is uh, particularly, uh, according to comic books, called a, uh, an Omniglaive, a hook and staff furnished with Nova Blade, a solidified light energy that can shear through almost any substance, even adamantium, I wonder. And also this right here is called the, they call, he called this weapon the Way of Woes. A gilded anchor shaped weapon forged from the underwater volcanic furnaces of a stronghold planetoid, infused with negatite and antimatter of immense density. The way of woos can also create energy blasts or shields when spun. And I gotta say, this the chain on this anchor is freaking long as heck. Um, which is pretty cool. And I love the color of it, which is really nice. Really nice details, as you can see. I wouldn't say it's uh, hefty or anything. It doesn't have too much weight on it. But look at all the details that they added. Very, very nice. Good paint, too. And... Also managed to 
open up his uh, visor or whatever you call it. There he is. Let's see if I can get that focus on his face. Yeah. So his eyes are white. His skin is like a light greenish color. Like a murky green. Which is pretty cool. Let's see, you can put that, fold that down. Very nice. You put up that much. It looks very attractive. I like it. Um, really good, te good details on this glaive as well. No, I don't focus on the pink skulls. Right. Very nice. Uh, let's actually swap his head. And you know what? I also notice like. So right now, as you can see, um, on both hands, uh, it's, I got the gripping hands on them, and it's the fingers are really nice and uh, bendable. You know how some on some figures, man, they are extremely stiff. These are very flexible, which makes it much more comfortable to play with. All right, I got that long, elongated head off and let's put the shorter one oh man focus please there we go it's a big difference on how the depth on them as you can see This one has like tentacles on it, which is really cool. Almost like a like, looks like a little robotic bug. All right, let's put it on there. All right, that is pretty cool. I don't know, I actually dig both head sculpts. I thought I was gonna like this one a lot more, but the other one's pretty cool too, mostly because you could flip that visor. Or the goggles, whatever you call it. That's very nice. Neck is very flexible. That's really cool. Yeah, you can move the neck back and forth too. Nice. It's always a nice addition. closer look yeah what do y'all think which one do y'all prefer yeah they're both unique in their own way I guess if I had to choose one I guess that one yeah I don't know it's pretty close because I really like how you can flip this visor that's pretty awesome all right, well, there's that. Let's actually, um, let me set up these Aquaticons in that effect piece. So I'll be right back. All right, so it looks like these Aquaticons don't have any type of like holes on the bottom of them. So where you could put these wires on them. So I was mistaken and it looks like these wires are actually for Baron Benz. Um, if you look on the back of him, he has a lot of these holes on his armor or his suit. And you could put these tube-like wires on there. As you can see, I got some set up there. And the yellow wire, or the yellow tube, whatever you want to call it, they fit into the smaller holes. As you can see, this one actually came off loose. Should be in one of those two holes there. Um, I do have to advise, be careful. Um, as you can see, with one of these wires, I try to put it in that hole right there on this tri right tricep and the end piece actually got stuck in there so I'm gonna have to use some pliers to take that out so make sure you're gentle with it and as you can see you have a lot of options here to put um, you can put these tubes in just different places wherever you like you know they have holes some holes on his arms some on the uh, elongated head even on the side as you can see 
uh, but on the the shorter head you, there's no holes on there so you can't put any of the tubes on there I'll probably put like underneath the tentacles if you like but it seems like the the tubes are more suitable for the elongated head as you can see it's got a lot more holes on there or it does have holes on there so that's a really cool option um yeah you can just took me a while to mess with it and put it all in there but yeah very very attractive looking figure and it's so unique love it really great addition to the uh, rumble society line it joins along with these fellas back there this mysterious group um, and these aquaticons they actually have their own like little slots on this plastic like dio um, as you can see they fit really well they have like yeah certain slots there you can put them on so that looks pretty cool very nice addition that is awesome and these aquaticons are supposedly robotic they're engineered so I guess he kind of controls them somehow but yeah there is Baron Benz um hope y'all enjoyed this uh you know what let's actually do some size comparisons now uh, i'll be right back with some other mesco figures all right let's first put one of the pink skulls next to him and he's a bit taller uh let's put one of my favorite mesco and gomez figures the lone roach uh let's put Put old man Logan. All right, and let's see. Let's put uh, that red sun Superman. So as you can see, he is taller than all of them. Um, I think even with the the shorter head, he would. Yeah, be a, a tad bit taller than all of them. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I wonder if the standard cable would size up with him. I wonder if their shoulder length would be around the same. Because the standard cable has the boots as well. I actually still need to cop that figure. But yeah, they look fantastic together for sure. Uh, let me uh, pull these aside and put some other uh, figures from other lines. I'll be right back. All right, let's put one of the Star Wars Black Series figures, the Carbonized Mandalorian, next to him. Yeah, they still scale really well together. Okay. Uh, let's put Worthy Cap. Let's put Wolverine. Now we got to put him in line. Oh yeah, so he scales really well with every all these lines here, in my opinion. All right, last but not least, this is the size comparison that I really wanted to check out. Let's set worthy cap aside. Let's put leader next to him. Can you figure out why I'm interested in this comparison? <laughs> Who has the longer head? Okay, I think leader. I think leader's head is a bit longer. It's pretty close. <laughs> but anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Let me let me know your thoughts on this figure if you like. Um, did you get it as well? Um, and if you like if you like this video, let me know if you're interested in seeing more of these unboxings. I definitely had fun with it, and this is I'd say an, an amazing figure. Uh, if you're in the Mesco line, if you're into the Rumble Society line, then this is definitely one that you don't want to miss. Uh, definitely join the wait list if you haven't. I'm sure it will convert to one of these days. Uh, they made a lot of these figures. I mean, this figure was up for pre-order for, for a very long time. 
So everybody had the, had the chance, but you may have another chance. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all are staying safe. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time, alright? Ranger out! Peace!